Welcome to my man cave, folks. Just going to give a quick tour of my vintage pop bottle collection, but please just give me a few seconds. These are mainly Canadian bottles, dating back, way back to the 1800s, all the way up to the 1960s. Um, we'll move through them quickly, just to, so we can cover all of them. Starting up here, Suncrest, a big name in the 50s and 60s. Several variations here. A two-way. And again, these are mainly Canadian bottles. Mission, very hard to find in this condition, local bottle, Red Deer Beverages. Also a Medicine Hat bottle, also local bottle. I'm here in Calgary, so these two would be considered local. Red Deer, Medicine Hat. Then on to some Canadian, or Canada Dry, different variations. And if you grew up in the 60s, you might even remember some of these. 60s uh, bottles here, mainly. Okay, on to Fanta. Wishing well. Big in the 50s and 60s again. Drury's, a couple paper labeled bottles there. Evangeline. Polar Calgary bottle. Um, whistle. Scona Calgary bottle. Old Colony. And I have all the variations of the Canadian Mountain Dew bottles, and they're each different by their names. There we go. All the different names. I am missing, I think, the two French ones, but I'm not too worried about that, really. Patio team. A very, very hard to find in this condition. Local BC bottle. I guess that's not local, but it's um, right next door, basically. The Ogopogo imagery. Very desirable. Very hard to find. Double Cola, Gerds, Hires, two very, very, very desirable Medicine Hat pop bottles. Okay. Zoop. Dr. Pepper, Purity, a Lethbridge bottle. Then on to Kist. Again, a huge name in the 60s, in the 50s. Got the early, early embossed bottles, including these two larger quart sizes. Very hard to find and very sought after. Got a couple of those, Kist. Then on to Orange Crush, the early, 1920s to 1930s, the clear ones, including these two 30 ounce larger sizes. Again, you'll never find them. Once in a lifetime, right here. Um, then they went on to the amber in the 40s, in the f into the maybe early 50s. And then onto the clear ones, which they used from the late 50s to the 60s. Kickapoo Joy Juice. Red Rock. So you might think that um, this could be an American bottle. You know, Red Rock, that's an American brand. 
but I'll show you a way to check. First off, it'll probably say. There, it's licensed and it's a uh, Canadian. Obviously it says that. But also a good way to check is on the bottom to confirm whether it's a Canadian bottle. The diamond with the D in the middle. I don't know if you can see that. There's a diamond with the D. That's Dominion Dominion glass in Ontario. And they were the biggest bottle makers back in the day. Dominion. So if it has that, that tells you. Basically, it just confirms that it's a Canadian bottle. Capital Edmonton bottle, and this a highly desirable, impossible to find 1930s Felix British Columbia bottle. Almost impossible to find in this condition with the 100% intact labels. Pardon the noise for a sec, there's something going right by here by the, the man cave. But to find one with the intact label from the 1930s, impossible to find, impossible. Bob's, Pete's, hey, that's me, Pete. That's an Alberta bottle. Then on to Stubby, a, a very iconic Canadian brand. Got a few variations of that. Okay, zip. Okay, seven up. Western Dry, Alberta, Alberta brand. Again, Drum Heller. Nice local bottles. Then on to Pepsi. And the earliest versions of Pepsi have what's known as the double dot, where there's the two dots. That was back in the 30s and 40s. And then they did the corporate decision to change your logo. And there it is, the single dot. Single dot. They did that in the 40s somewhere, I believe. So we have that and also this one, the 26 ounce large size from the 50s or 40s, probably the 50s. Impossible to find, once in a lifetime opportunity to purchase one of these, especially in this condition, near mint. So on we go. These are Charles Wilson Toronto bottles. I got three different variations of what is called the Hutchinson variety. I don't know if you can see the embossed squirrels on there, but that's what they're there. Plus we got what's known as a blob top quart, late 1800s, with that iconic squirrel. Then on to, of course, the most famous brand, Coca-Cola. These early ones start at around 1899 and go up through about 1916, these early different colored embossed Coca-Cola of Canada bottles. All these different colors you can see. Okay, last row. Okay, we got Schweppes there, Uptown, Kick, and again some more local bottles. This would be Lethbridge, Alberta. And I love this one. Just so very gothic. House of Lethbridge. And this is also Lethbridge. And we got your tab and your fresca, including exceedingly, exceedingly hard to find 26 ouncer. Canadian, these are Canadian. Uh, Jamaica Dry, Sprite. 
New Grape, and then on to where I live, Calgary. A couple pop bottles there, and we have some really early, and at a local level, these don't get any better. These Cal embossed early Calgary brewery bottles, including the first generation late 1800s blob top. Very desirable and hard, impossible to find. Next to impossible, I should say. And some more of these different variations of the Calgary brewery bottle. These are known as ACL bottles, applied colored label. And that's about it, folks. My lifelong collection. I was never really